Oh, and maybe a hard drive. Oh, and maybe a charger. Oh, and of course, how could I possibly forget? Another laptop, just to go with it all. I'm just gonna be uh, sitting here waiting for it to load. It looks like we have to refresh this, so... Dang it, where's the refresh button in Windows XP? Uh, go Hello everyone, and welcome to the Tech House. You know, it's been a while since I've done a... an unactual hardware video. I think it's about time I do that again. So, today we're going to be installing Microsoft Memphis on actual hardware that it's meant for. But first, a little context. Okay, now that, that section's over. Uh, we're gonna need some. We're gonna need some things. So this computer down here has a Windows Memphis ISO on it, and we're going to be using this computer to create a uh, install medium to install onto another computer. So we're gonna need that, but uh. You know, we're gonna need like a monitor to see what we're doing. So that's a good that's a good option. Oh, you know, maybe a keyboard type things. You know, like the password and whatnot. Or maybe a mouse, just because. Uh, maybe these uh lovely speakers here just to hear what the computer is trying to tell us. Oh, and uh maybe one of these cool things. Oh, and maybe a floppy disk. Oh, and maybe a floppy disk. Drive. Oh, and maybe a hard drive. Oh, and maybe a charger. Oh, and of course, how could I possibly forget? Another laptop, just to go with it all. Yeah! Oh, and of course, I, I think I did actually forget something. I mean, you really can't do a whole lot these days without power, so, you know, we're gonna have to, like, apply power to this monitor and not knock the mouse off the desk, so, like, plug this in back here, and, you know, we kind of need a display interface, so, I, I think, I think this, uh, VGA thing will do it. So, like, plug that into the back of the monitor. And it just like works. I think the setup is ready to go. And now it's time for a low budget, copyright free version of my intro. <laughs> We now apply power to the computer and see what happens. Well, not much of note. <laughs> ah, look at this. It's Superstar XP, the thing I was working on over the summer, yet never released. There's a, there's a reason it never released, and you'll probably see why. But uh, this is a custom boot screen. Yeah, that's a thing you can do. See, the reason this never released is because I never figured out how to change this login screen, so I just went with an energy logon. Other than that, just about everything is different. Even the sounds are different, which you can hear. With the lovely water speakers that I forgot to turn on. Oh, just listen, just listen to all those sounds. You know, the speaker just... And the hard drive is going... I think there's something wrong with the speaker. 
I don't know. Anyways, we'll just drown out the noise by clicking with the mouse and you know. Alright, so downloads. Now remember kids, piracy is bad, but when you never had the opportunity to buy something, it's okay. It's called preservation. So if I uh scroll down, I should have Windows 98 Memphis uh, build 1511. So uh, we're going to extract those files. Just hit the OK button. It should work. 7-zip uh, is a very good program. We are currently at our compression ratio of 79%, now 83%, now 85%, now 74 We have elapsed 14 seconds, and we have 16 seconds remaining. We have 101 megabytes of data at a speed of 3,041 kilobytes per second. Or kilobits per second. <laughs> Processed 88 And it's done. That's about it. See how so you see how simple of a program that is anyways Yeah, so It looks like we have to refresh this so Dang it where's the refresh button in Windows XP uh, Go back and just go forward again try that and now, you see, Microsoft Windows 98 Memphis. So, <laughs> you just go ahead and click on that, and here we go, we have an ISO file. Oh wow, there isn't like, I have to move the camera up, dummy. As you can see, you have the USA version of Windows 98 build 1511, beta one. So I do have image burn on this computer, and uh, I should be, should be able to click on it and like get like a burning prompt or something so um no wait no writers detected what do you mean there's no writers on this computer but before that i'm gonna have to just uh go ahead and uh show you what it sounds like when this computer shuts down because i changed that sound too huh Alright, so I, I did burn the disk on another computer. Wait. Hang on, what's this doing here? Get out of here. So I did burn the disk on another computer because that drive is just not going to work with me. So, we're just going to go ahead and turn this on. Ah, looks like I left Windows 95 in here. Nice observation, Star. Alright, close the disk drive. That actually does work. Can I ask to? <laughs> Beep, boop, boop, beep. Okay, yeah. Windows 95. What a classic. It doesn't even fit the whole screen. Just look at this. There's like black bars everywhere. Now would you listen to that? Just the classic Windows 95 startup sound. That, that must, must have been, been like, like a, a record, record boot, boot up, up time. time. Okay, so if I'm correct, um, that should have worked. Or not. I did it? It says removable disk A, but I don't have anything connected to it. Yeah. 1511. Memphis. Oh wait, I forgot I, to tell the backstory of this computer. Let me just do that real quick. Okay, that's about it. So, we're going to, uh... Find the setup program. Ah, there we go. That's not the right thing. Okay, I swear this wasn't Windows 95. Ah, there we go. Welcome to Memphis setup. This might actually go very smoothly. You know, doesn't it just look like Windows 98 already? Oh, I forgot this thing actually makes sounds. I guess. So I accept the license agreement. I didn't even read it. <laughs> Why is it making book sounds though? Save system files? Why not? I don't want to just destroy everything about Windows 95. Ah, I didn't even have the screen brightness up all the way. That would have been nice, now wouldn't it have been? Alright, it's almost done saving system files, and by that I mean it's literally not even close to being done. This computer has 16 megabytes of RAM, what were you expecting? Oh, and also a Pentium CPU. Yeah.
pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> I'm actually starting to wonder if this is supposed to be a uh, upgrade copy and not just like an install copy. Cause it seems to be a uh, up. It seems to be trying to do like an upgrade process here. Start copying files. Why not do that? You know, standard stuff. And now we get to watch it install. <laughs> Talk about Memphis in beta news groups, huh? You know, perhaps I should do that. Let me just uh, try to find a beta news group real quick. Anyways, yeah, we're about done copying files and we should be restarting in the not too distant future. Uh, assuming it doesn't take eight hours to do that. <laughs> you know, considering the fact that we're now at 92% and if we still get 8% to go. But who knows, maybe, maybe they, they can pull through because last, last year, year was so great, great so this one must be good too. too. Yeah. Please use all the new features in Memphis. I'm going to have to check all of those out. Oh, wait. That's probably every new feature in uh, Windows 98. Thank you for helping us helping make a good thing better. Enjoy the Memphis team. They would later rename that to the Windows 98 team in, uh, in Windows 98's final setup. But, uh, you know, I ha I'm, I'm pretty sure they didn't want people to figure out this existed. Or any Windows beta. Just saying. Except I have a copy. I'm installing it right now. Please don't hunt me down and kill me, Microsoft Corporation, because I didn't get I didn't make this. I just have a copy of it. But then again, Windows 98 was already released, so how could, so why would they care? That's what we're doing right here, is we're essentially just installing a beta version of Windows 98. Hey, we're 98 percent done. <laughs> Almost 99, and then 100, and then it's done. I don't. I think this CD drive is actually kind of slow because it's you know from 1997. Last thing I want is for the CD drive to slow down. Hey, the progress bar is gone. Memphis setup is preparing to copy new system files to your computer. What you just did that? Oh, okay. There we go. Please remove all disks from floppy drives and click OK to restart. Boom. And now we're going to hear the beautiful Windows 95 shutdown sound. Or not. It just, you know, kind of silently restarted. Good times. Beep. Now what do we get? Ah, oh, for frick's sake. Forgot I had to change the date. So now it's just probably gonna kill itself. Like like just a time bomb and blow itself up and die. Standard stuff, you know. What else would I expect from Microsoft? Yep. So, let me just go ahead and uh, change the date. 
Oh wait, I forgot. This bio setup doesn't let me do that. That's just great, because now I'm kind of stuck. So now it just physically prevents me from doing much of anything at this point. Because Windows 9X is a piece of crap. No. Windows 9X. Blows! Okay, so what I did was I reinstalled MS-DOS onto this computer. Not Windows 95, because that is no easy task, let me just say. So we're just gonna go with that. I do have a CD driver on here. So we should just be able to put the disc in and then have it work when it starts up. And, you know, standard stuff. Except this time the date is in 1997. Starting MS-DOS. Uh, yeah, here's the uh, CD-ROM driver, and now it boots straight into the DOS prompt. So we should be able to go to our uh, type set up like a normal person. Oh, what the heck? Uh, yeah, enter. Dot exe. Press enter. That's not what I ask you for, dang it. Let's look at the directory. I'd like to, uh, cd spa space DOS. If you get this reference, you get five cookies and maybe a piece of cheesecake. Okay, so now I should be able to type in s et up and hit enter and have it just work. Jeez, finally, it just works like it's supposed to. Of course, it's only gonna be in like, uh, I don't know, EGA resolution. This looks pretty standard, you know, the way that Windows 98 always looks when you start, when you uh, start set up. Which I think the first leaked build is the, the earliest leaked build is the first one to actually introduce the setup screen. Whatever, hopefully it works this time. <laughs> and it doesn't just, like, I don't know, brick itself. Cause yeah, that time bomb is literally a time bomb and it, uh, when it reaches zero, it will brick itself. That's Microsoft for ya. <laughs> like, seriously, in other versions of Windows, like, oh, I don't know, Windows Whistler, if you're t if the time bomb expires, it will just like, it will take you to the login screen. You try to log in, it fails to do so because your time, your time is up. And then, and then it'll shut down the computer, but it will still boot. This just bricks everything. But anyways, uh, it's preparing Memphis setup, and it should just uh, show up in the not too distant future, you know. I will say, I did notice on the side here they're using different icons. Do they look better or do they not look better than what was in the final Windows 98? You tell me. I'm just gonna be uh, sitting here waiting for it to load. Standard stuff. The screen refreshed. That must be a sign. Ah, there we go. License agreement. I accept. Oh, hey. It, you know what's nice is that it doesn't ask you for a product key. It probably will soon. But who knows? This was only meant for Microsoft developers, so... Who, who knows? It might just work. Why do I like doing voices or stu voices and stuff? Alright, so... As I always do with Windows 95 and 98, um... I will, uh, just not, just like, unselect every single component and then reselect them, just swipe every possible option. Thanks, Microsoft. I love you. Uh, what are you copying? <laughs> Seriously, what are you copying? I'm just gonna name the computer Tough because it's a tough book. Isn't that funny, guys? Ah. Wait, do we still have the option for the user interface? Yes! Windows 3.1 Program Manager. Cool. I think they removed that option in 98. So I'm glad to see it's still here. Alright, next. Start copying.
20 minutes, but it's finally done now. What is from 1997? What were you expecting? So I should be able to take the CD out of the drive and restart. So I'm gonna put the CD back in the drive because it actually boots off the CD. It doesn't actually boot off the CD. Black. See, 1997. Starting Memphis. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, except on camera, it's just Memphi. It's like Ed Junior Morpheus. <laughs> Probably because the flash is on for some reason. Getting ready to start Memphis for the first time. Holy crap, I think it's working. Because I was able to get away with changing the date. <laughs> Completed updating files, continuing to load Windows. Oh, and we know for a fact it's not going to do a Windows protection error because this is an old computer. Ah, so it looks like we're in the GUI now. Oh, yeah, you can see, uh... Did it, like, automatically just install the drivers? I'm... Wait, I think the drivers on this thing are from 1996, so... I think it might have installed the drivers. Probably not, but who knows. Yeah, for once, that text, in the, that, that text down there is actually accurate. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's this PC speaker. We are currently setting up hardware. Memphis is now going, is now setting up your hardware and any plug and play, blah, blah, blah. Uh, welcome to the PC card wizard. Are you using a PC card, network card, CROM, connect to a SCSI card, etc., to install Windows? I don't think so. Windows did not find any existing real mode PC card drivers. Either you did not, uh, I don't really care. You have finished the PC card. Ah. You have finished the PC card wizard. Enable 32 bit support, click finish, and then restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Well, thank you very much, but I'm not using a PC card with this thing. Do I even have a PC card slot in here? No, wait. Uh, yeah, I do. I actually have a networking card in here. I actually, I forgot about that. Whoops! <laughs> Maybe I should have done the setup. But then again, how am I, how is it supposed to detect this darn thing? I sure hope this is actually plug and play. Yeah, how is it supposed to detect this thing? Oh, wow, this thing is probably, this thing, this thing is so hot, it's probably making the uh, label come off on top here. Oof. I'll just go ahead and uh, put this back into the computer. Windows is now analyzing your computer. Warning, this may take several minutes and could cause your machine to stop responding. While detection is in progress, you will see a progress indicator. If this indicator stops for a long time, you will need to restart your computer. Well, that was pretty obvious. Why would I, hmm. Why would you need to tell me that, mate? Oh, good, there's only five minutes left of this garbage. 77, oh, 79%, 80%, 81%, 82%, 83%. I'm going to stop now uh, before that gets annoying. Oh, wait, that already was annoying. <laughs> but yeah, all I, have to, all I have to do is really wait for the percentage to just count up and up and up and up and up until it's, like, done. Oh, also, does, doesn't, that gradient, doesn't that gradient just look beautiful? Oh, okay, so it's still setting up uh, hardware and any plug-and-play devices I might have. Well, hopefully it actually has the drivers for this sucker. Because we're going to need that to uh, possibly install, like, the display and the sound drivers. The most fun part of setting up your computer. <laughs> Installing the drivers. <laughs> Only IT professionals can do this crap. And now I just don't see anything in this entire space. And now my mouse isn't moving because this trackpad isn't the greatest thing in the world. Huh. I should have uh, brought out a PS2 mouse for this. Oh, wait. I don't think that's plug and play. I'm, I would have to restart the computer and destroy everything and have to do all of that all over again. Including reinstalling MS-DOS. Isn't that fun? Don't lie to yourself, it's not fun. Working with this computer is honestly just not the most fun thing in the world. But I do enjoy the result of it. <laughs> Presuming it doesn't just lock up. But it didn't. Because... Woo. Oh, oh, I saw loading for a second. It might actually be doing something! Oh, it's now going to restart the computer. Fun. Oh, hey, look at that nice uh, shutdown screen. That probably isn't the one that was meant to be used with this. Anyways, uh, it's going to restart the computer now. And uh, we shall see the Microsoft Memphis show up on the screen.
Microsoft Memphis Beta 1. I think this is the wrong startup screen, or maybe not. I will say, the getting ready to start Memphis for the first time, that is actually uh, nicer than what Windows 95 does, which is basically just have a one time, really uh, just, uh, just completely different startup screen. Enter password. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to enter a username. So, uh, I gotta think of a funny username. Uh, never mind. I will say though, I do enjoy typing on this laptop. Of course, since this is Windows 9X, I can probably just hit the escape key and just get into Windows anyways. Yeah, Microsoft did that. You know, if you come across a uh, Windows 9X computer, you can literally just hit the X button on the login prompt and it will just take you to a guest account. You know, fun times. I heard a doo doo. Uh, location information. We're gonna close out of that. I don't want I don't want you guys knowing my location. Ooh, it actually does have drivers for sound. That's nice. I don't want to do this. Close. 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 Uh, well, forget about it. Let me just put them in a bunch of garbage information. Uh and then I just like slam that. It's probably because I have a network card in this thing. I like a pole styling, just for fun. And, you know, it's not gonna actually dial anything because I just put in a bunch of bullcrap information. Updating shortcuts. Okay, so, uh... It might, it's pretty common knowledge at this point. I live within the e uh, Eastern time zone as indicated by Superstar 64 live streams. You should totally watch that. Uh, control panel. That's just gonna do a thing. That's just gonna do a thing. Windows help, that's just gonna do a thing. Uh, when it's, you know, finished. Taking five years. Why can't I move anything? That's gonna do a thing. Jeez, I should really trademark that. And I've trademarked the phrase, that's gonna do a thing. <laughs> Preparing help file for first use. That's gonna do a thing. Active movie configuration. I have never heard of that. Is that a predecessor to uh, Windows Movie Maker? Uh, Windows Messaging before. I always just cancel this in Windows 95. So, as a Windows 95 veteran, I have to cancel it here too. I don't even really use my email that much. So I'm not going to install in Printer and we're going to restart. Yep, Microsoft Memphis developer release. It doesn't say beta 1 and I'm not entirely sure if it's, if it's supposed to not say beta 1. But anyways, I'm not even showing the entire screen. Okay, so my phone actually ran out of storage and you missed the boot screen. That's just great. So, um, apparently there's like unknown devices and crap like that, so it's just like loading right now. Now would you listen to that? My, welcome to Memphis. Did you know, if you don't know how to do something, you can look it up and help. Just click the start button and then click help. Oh boy, what, uh, what's going wrong now? Could not determine computer's name. Well, that's kind of sad. So, uh, first off, let's just change this. Ah, so it is in 16 color. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's go 24 bit. And 800 by 600, because that's the resolution of the screen. Don't, uh, do that. Yeah, go ahead and restart. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see this thing restart. Right? Okay, so you might actually be good from here. Assuming the computer just doesn't, cr doesn't just crash all over the place. You know, I would prefer it didn't do that. Alright, so, this looks a lot better now. And, uh... Yeah, of course, I can't resolve what this computer's name is. Okay, so you can see the taskbar looks better, but... 
Still sounds a lot like Windows 95 now, doesn't it? Of course, this doesn't have the best speakers, so, you know, there's that. Of course, I have to close their program manager because it ain't Windows 3.1 anymore. Okay, what is this? Internet system update. Okay, so that that's uh, that'd be Windows update, as it would later be called. Ah, oh, there it is. Memphis Beta Guide. Let's check this out. Oh, you can also see the new icons for like the plus of Windows 98. How much online stuff added? Microsoft Memphis Developer Release Testing Guide. May 23rd, 1997. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about this. Let's set up the Microsoft Network. Of course, I'd probably have to uh, rip out a Mac and then start up internet sharing and then plug an ethernet card into this sucker. Uh, yeah, cancel that. Who cares? No one cares. Um, TV viewer. That was another thing that was introduced in 98. Interactive CD sampler and trial programs. Let's trial programs. Let's check that out. I don't know what that is. Cancel. Who cares? Ooh, of course. We all, we always have to uh, do games. And of course, it comes with the best selection of default Windows games. Alright, um... Yeah, you, uh, you guys can go now. I'm just gonna sit here and play some solitaire. But what what happened to my briefcase? It looks it looks terrible now. Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the type of thing that you would basically I don't know, you just throw things in there and then they like share it on the network or some whatnot. I don't think I have a lot to talk about here anymore because this is just Windows 98 essentially. Uh, let me just re do a whole reset so you can see the boot up screen again. Please wait while your computer shuts down. Yeah, they definitely changed that in 98. They changed like, they basically had the startup screen where it says Windows is shutting down. And this was the final boot screen that they went with for this. I don't think I've, I don't think another version of Windows has it loading like that. But it's a pretty cool boot screen, not gonna lie. It actually fits well with the laptop, like you can't even tell that it's not fitting the whole screen. Alright, so let me just, let me just prove that all the veterans to Windows 9X, um, uh, should know this knowledge already. Uh, so, you don't, you, you don't, you don't know the computer's password, it says the password's incorrect. You don't. You, this has a username or something. Who cares? Just hit the escape button. And you log in. That's a pretty big security vulnerability if I've ever seen one. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I, I think I'm about done with this. So. Uh... Oh yeah, it's also 12:46 a.m. I should probably get to sleep. All right. Well. Thank you all so much for watching the latest edition of On Actual Hardware, and I will see you in the night sky.